From Mandarin to Julington Creek, neighbors are growing uneasy after learning this man has been approaching their homes and asking for personal information. Surveillance video shows that man approaching several homes in the last few weeks. What's concerning to them is that he's got a different story for different people. News for Jack reporter Allison Henning is following the story tonight. She's been speaking with some of the people who've been in contact with this man. Allison? Yeah, most of them I spoke with say they didn't think much of it at first until they realized it was happening to so many other people. In each interaction, the man is wearing a badge and he has on professional clothing. And people who live in this area, they just want to know what he's up to and why he keeps coming back. Nowadays, you'll find home surveillance and doorbell cameras in just about every neighborhood. Over the last few weeks, these cameras have helped several people living in Mandarin and Julington Creek realize they all have something in common. This man knocking at their front doors. What he's saying is leaving some people on edge. Because it's too many different stories, too many different houses. One woman says the man came to her home asking her husband about a survey she never filled out. Another neighbor saying he identified himself as a federal tax collector. He's even told some they owe money. This woman, who we are not naming, says the man came to her door, quickly flashing a badge, identifying himself as a debt consolidator. He asked odd questions, including when her husband would be home and what kind of car he drove. I noticed in a lot of the videos, he stands in a particular spot waiting for you to answer. And I think, and I know this happened on my camera, it's so it cuts off and he can't, you can't record your conversation. I have him walking to my house and away from my house, but not our whole probably five minute conversation. We talked with News for Jack's crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson, who says he sees red flags. He says you never want to give out personal information about who's home at what time of day. Exposure needs to be given to him, uh, to the persons in that area, that they need to be on the lookout for him uh, because there's an image, there's actually an image of him now. So that will slow his tracks down, if not stop him. And Jefferson recommends not answering your front door unless you're expecting someone. That way you can avoid the interaction altogether. If you do decide to answer the door and that person becomes pushy or aggressive and refuses to leave, he recommends calling police. And I should mention a few of the people I spoke with today tell me they do plan on reporting their interactions to police and also sharing their videos with police. Reporting live in Mandarin, Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station.